Hello everyone, today we're going to solve the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine of x minus 1 all divided by x. So, first of all, let's see what happens if we plug x equals 0 in this limit. So we get cosine of 0 minus 1 over 0, that is 1 minus 1 over 0, and we actually get the indeterminate form 0 over 0. So you might think we could use Lopez's rule to find the value of this limit. It works, but we can actually do it that way, and I'll show you why in a moment. So using Lopez's rule, we get the limit as x goes to 0, and we differentiate the numerator, so cosine of x minus 1, divided by the derivative of x. Okay, so we get the limit as x goes to 0. Now we can use the derivative sum rule. So d over dx of cosine of x minus d over dx of 1 or divided by 1. And this is just the limit as x goes to 0. When we differentiate cosine of x, we get minus sine of x minus the derivative of 1 is just 0. So this equals the limit as x goes to 0 of minus sine of x that is just zero it actually works but we can't do it this way because to find the derivative of cosine of x that is minus sine of x we have to know that this limit is zero so how do we actually solve this limit well we can do it by algebraic manipulation so let's do the following just multiply everything by cosine of x plus one over cosine of x plus 1. So this equals the limit as x goes to 0 of cosine squared of x minus 1 divided by x times cosine of x plus 1. Now we can use a very famous trig identity that sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. So cosine squared of x minus 1 equals minus sine squared of x. So this equals the limit as x goes to 0 of minus sine squared of x divided by x times cosine of x plus 1. And this equals minus the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x times sine of x divided by x times cosine of x plus 1. Now we can split this limit into different limits. So this is minus the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over x times the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x over cosine of x plus 1. Okay, now this limit simply equals 1, and we can directly substitute 0 into the second limit. So this equals sine of 0 over cosine of 0 plus 1. So sine of 0 is just 0 divided by cosine of 0 is 1 plus 1. So we actually get that this limit equals 0. If you enjoyed my video, leave a thumbs up, share this video with your friends. Until next time, bye!